How you doing? I'm Matt with 731woodworks.com. This is Charlie. Today, let me show you how to make this awesome DIY dog bed. Hey, if you're new to the channel, do Charlie a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. If you share this on your social media, Charlie will give you a virtual paw bump. <laughs> Don't forget to check the description down below. I'll put links to the useful show notes as well as all the tools and supplies that we used in this build. You can custom make this to any size dog bed you want. We went and bought this dog bed. I'll put a link in the description below to one similar to this if you want to build this exact bed. In this bed, we used pine two by twos for the legs and black willow for the back and sides. If you don't have access to black willow, it's, it's fairly uncommon to use in bills. It's a softer wood, but you can use spruce or pine either one. To figure out the height that we want on our dog bed, we're gonna just lay a, a two by two down, which is an inch and a half thick, put our rail on there, and then use this uh, leg that I have not cut to length yet. And we're gonna, we know we want an inch and a half off the floor, plus our one by six, and then we'll just mark the top. And how we come up with this uh, one by six is we just take the dog bed and set it in here so that we know we're gonna inset the dog bed down into the frame uh, but we know we want the top to stick out a little bit, so I just I marked it like this. Uh, it makes it easier. You can measure uh, a five and a half plus inch and a half, and then get your marks. But I just set it on here, and we'll mark the top of the of the leg because uh, we're going to attach all this together, like so. All right, so now it's time to put it together. We've got our pocket holes drilled. We've got everything cut to length like we want. This piece I cut at 20 and a half inches for the front, and this piece is 17 and a half inches for the side rails. And we're gonna raise it off the ground an inch and a half, and then we're gonna attach everything with these pocket hole screws. I'm going to inset these. Do you wanna do flush on the back side and that much on the front or half and half? Probably better be flush on the well, back. I'd rather it be flush on the so back the bed and a deeper in. inset on the back and sides too, right? Yeah, everything would come into this corner. Yeah. And then on the sides, they would come into that corner. So we're gonna flush it up on the back. That way everything stays smooth on the inside. So now I'm just gonna take some wood glue. I'm gonna put the wood glue in there. And then we're just gonna take an inch and a quarter pocket hole screws, Craig pocket hole screws. A link to all this stuff we're using will be in the description below. We got our basic frame going on, and I'm just gonna put this last piece in. And I've just used a, a extra two by two block as my spacer on the bottom. I actually ripped this uh, six inches wide, uh, but a common one by six will work just as good. Uh, this is actually black willow uh, that I had just laying around, but pine, it's soft like pine, it works just like pine. So if you got pine or spruce at your home store, go ahead and get that, that'd probably be just as easy. Uh, one by six material is fine. If you want to get one by eights and rip it six inches or leave it one by eight at seven and a half uh, inches, whatever you want to set your bed in is fine. Uh, this is going, I'm going to put some slats in so that the bed has something to rest on. And then we're going to finish uh, going up the top with some more of these type boards all the way up to the top and give it more of a, like a shiplap look. But installing this last piece, I'm just making sure that my corners are lining up and uh, I put glue on there and then I clamp everything tight so that it doesn't move. 
What I like to do is just line everything up first and then take my clamp. This is, these are Irwin 36 inch clamps. They sell them at Lowe's. They also sell them on Amazon. And I'll drop a link to those in the description below. They're very, very good clamps. They're very strong. I've had these for a couple of years now and I haven't had any issues with them at all. So for the headboard of the dog bed, which is kind of funny, but for the headboard, and I've went ahead and put the pocket holes in, these boards are the same length as these, which is uh, 20 and a half inches long. Same method of installing them. We're gonna uh, put them in there, wood glue and clamp with our pocket hole screws all the way to the top. After that, we'll be ready to put the slats in the bottom. All right, so now we're gonna put our slats in and all I've done is I've had some scrap pieces and I'm just gonna use those for our slats for our bed to rest on. Uh, if you have the one by six left over, you can use a couple, about three of those in there, maybe four, whatever is gonna work for you. But we're gonna inset this down uh, low enough that the bed actually sets down inside the bed, uh, frame. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drill pocket hole screws and we're gonna pocket hole these in. What I didn't mention was I'm gonna draw a line across here uh, using a straight edge on how deep I want this to set. That way, when I put these boards in, I'll have a line of reference to put on both sides so that it winds up to be uh, nice and level in there. We got to put together the only thing we have left to do is to sand it before we sand it i'm going to take my router with a quarter inch round over bit this gem is stiff in the neck with a quarter inch round over bit round over the bottom of these feet so they don't split and they won't scuff up the floor and i'm also going to hit the edges just to knock that sharpness off so that uh, it doesn't cut my pup Last thing we have to do before we stain it or paint it or whatever she's doing is we're going to sand it. Are you sanding or am I sanding? Probably. I'm sanding it. 120 grit. Uh, we're going to sand it down to 120 grit and then we'll put our stain or paint, whatever she decides. I'm not sure what she's going to do with it, but it's going to be beautiful. We rounded over, went ahead and rounded over the top edges also so that there's no sharp edges for your pup to get cut on. And then it won't also, it also won't snag the bed when you take it in and out. So, so far so good. I like how it's turning out. Moment of truth. I'm gonna see if it fits. All right, it's time to add our finish. We're, what we're going with is uh, we've got several pieces of furniture in our house already that's stained with this Verathane sun bleached, this Verathane sun bleached uh, stain. So that's what, what color we're gonna go with. It's an oil-based stain. We're gonna do a light coat because we want this black willow uh, wood grain to pop through. Light coat of gray is what we're gonna do the whole thing with. Uh, of course, these legs are pine. It doesn't matter what you use. If you use pine or spruce on your uh, one by sixes, perfectly fine. You use whatever color you want. We're going with the gray because it matches our house. But this is very good stain. If you're interested in any very thin stain, uh, I highly recommend it. Let's do that.
So there we got sun bleach is on there, a very light coat. We would wipe it on as you saw and then wipe it off pretty quick so that all of that wood grain would come through and we would only have uh, just a light gray look and that's what we wanted. Uh, it's gonna match the rest of our furniture nice. The dog bed fits perfectly in there. I think the pups are gonna really like this. I think it's gonna look good in the house. I think if you built one, it would look awesome too. Check the description down below. I'm gonna put uh, detailed plans down there for you. We're gonna let this dry. We're not gonna put a clear coat on there because she doesn't want a clear coat. She wants it to look a little more flat. So that's what we're gonna leave it with this very thing stain just like this. It's fast drying, should dry in about an hour. We'll get it in the house. This bed is strong. Very strong. <laughs> That's going in there. <laughs> no, it's you have virtual paw bump. <laughs> Air time again. Don't forget to check the description down below. I put a leak. Don't forget to put. Don't forget to. You put a leak in the description? Ah, there's a leak in the description. <laughs> You would know that if you watch some of my videos, you obviously don't support me. Yeah, you don't get a virtual fist bump. Nope, take it back. This is Charlie. Today we're going to show you how to build this awesome... Wait, wait. He's got itchies. Yeah, okay. 